Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey. Today we're gonna make deep fried baked potatoes loaded with chicken and a broccoli cheddar sauce. So we start by baking our potatoes. I like to slow bake mine at 250 for about two and a half hours, um, but you can also get really good results by baking them at 450 um, for about 45 minutes to an hour. And of course I poked some holes in them so the steam could escape and I rubbed them with oil, olive oil, and I'm seasoning them because we are frying these potatoes so we'll be eating the skin. And they've been scrubbed of course. I don't really like to take the peel off my potatoes most of the time so scrubbing them is second nature. While your potatoes are baking you want to start on all of the stuff that's going to load them. And so I'm going to cut some broccoli into just florets. And I'm gonna cut some chicken breasts into small, kind of bite-sized pieces. You wanna season the chicken really liberally all over using Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper. When it's all coated, just set it aside and shred your cheese. I'm using extra sharp cheddar cheese. Then we're gonna make the batter for our potatoes. Self-rising flour, some seasonings, and club soda. And then we just set it aside while we make the toppings. So like I said earlier, we're topping it with a broccoli cheddar cheese sauce, chicken, and then more broccoli. I probably forgot to say more broccoli, but we like broccoli. Um, so you're gonna make your cheese sauce. It starts with the little roux, which is flour, butter, and your seasonings. Get that all mixed up into a paste and then gradually add in the whole milk. After everything's nice and smooth, go ahead and add in your cheese. I like to do it in batches. To me, it helps it melt easier, but it really doesn't matter. You wanna whisk it until the cheese is completely melted. Once it's all nice and smooth, again, adding your broccoli. Not all of it, just some of it. Um, I do Generally about two thirds of it goes into the sauce. It depends. Now you wanna reduce your heat to low. And you're just gonna let the cheese sauce simmer. I added some onion powder and some black pepper. And you can also cook your chicken and your broccoli at the same time if you feel like multitasking. I didn't and I also didn't wanna wash another skillet, so. I used the same pan that I cooked my broccoli in, added a bit of oil, add the chicken in one layer, let it cook, flip it, and then cook it until it is cooked through. It'll take about, about seven to 10 minutes, um, depending on how much you put in the pan at once. Now, once your potatoes have cooled enough for you to be able to handle them comfortably, you wanna dust them in flour. This is just to help that batter stick a little bit better and then you want to dip it in the batter. Now the potatoes are heavy, so you can't just plop them in the oil or you're gonna have oil splashing everywhere. I like to use my spider strainer and then still a hand and very gently kind of nudge them into the oil. And I like to use tongs to flip them. Potatoes are done inside, of course, so you're just cooking it until it looks on the outside the way that you want. So a little tip about baked potatoes in general, cut them open as soon as they come out of the oven, the oil or whatever, do not let them rest. That steam is going to make all of the potato inside just gummy and it won't have that nice fluffy texture that we go for. Um, but after you cut them open, let them vent for a minute, go ahead and take either kitchen towels or paper towels and grab the ends, squeeze and push in and up. This will kind of force the potato up and out. And then I like to use a knife to fluff a little bit more. Um, you can't go nuts or else you'll break the the breading on the outside and it'll crack all over the plate so be gentle and then you just top it however you desire um, I am doing butter pepper 
broccoli, chicken, and then broccoli cheese sauce. And topping it off with some bacon bits. These are pork bacon bits. I still can't find any beef bacon, so. That's it. Now you've got loaded deep fried baked potatoes or deep fried loaded baked potatoes. I swap it out whenever I say it, I haven't really decided. Um, but the recipe is on deepfriedhoney.com as always. And I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day today and spending them with me. Have a good one. Bye.